new year off right by showcasing the twin motion settings straight away. Graphic hardware support DirectX 12. Path tracer, select and activate multiple GPU and hit OK. But you see, there's a catch. This is a unique version of Twin Motion 2024.1. It is running 100% on the Mac. I'm not using parallels in any way, shape, or form. Even if I try, there is no parallel on my computer. But what I am running is Crossover 24, which basically allows you to download any Windows version and run it perfectly on a Mac without having to run parallels. But that's not what's interesting about this tutorial. It's the fact that rendering can be significantly improved by the same hardware simply by downloading a separate alternative to the version. To prove my point, this right here on the center of the screen is the crossover version of Twin Motion 2024. Drag it to one side and I can open up the original Twin Motion for Mac. So now on the right, we have the Twin Motion for Mac version and on the left, we have our crossover 24 version. At the end of this video, I'll run through exactly how I downloaded Crossover, how I installed and what settings I'm running. But for now, let's talk about the quality of these render exports. So as you can see on the left-hand side, it looks a little bit different. It's a bit more Windows based. Still very high res and just booted up, hence the please wait sound at the bottom. On the right-hand side, we have our standard Mac Twinmotion file. And if we want to take a look on the inside in our media, let's go to image 13, for example, and replicate the same on this file. We'll see that Lumen is turned on on both scenarios. The settings are absolutely identical. The files are absolutely identical. Nothing has been changed. If we go into our environment, come across, let's adjust our HDRI sky rotation. Maybe we put that, let's go 219 and let's repeat the same on this side. If we were to compare direct image side by side in the software, we could automatically see a vast difference. So on the actual Mac version, there's quite a lot of fringing around the edges. None of the corners are very clean and all of the lights are very, very bright. The temperature of the overall scene is significantly higher, even though they're exactly the same settings. Whereas on the left-hand side, it is a much, much cleaner version. The temperature of the scene is exactly as you would expect in a daytime scene. Some elements are missing, so let's go ahead and drop in a stone bench top for us to work with on both. If we use the pink marble, marble drag and drop, repeat that on this side, we can see some of those reflections update on the stone as well. Now, if we were to export both of these images, let's see what DirectX 12 with Twin Motion through Crossover does versus no DirectX 12, but Lumen running on the standard Mac version. So now I've rendered out both images. One, the left again, Crossover version, the right is the standard Mac version of Twin Motion. If we compare the pair, we can see obviously the Mac version is still producing very, very high renders for what it is. Obviously the color temperature isn't just completely wrong, but we'd be able to adjust that if we put some effort and some time in. Whereas on the left side, you have the Direct X12 fully rendered out, which does look incredible, but there's a little bit of texture missing. There's not enough shine, there's not enough glare on the stone where it should be. I'm sure if I spent a little bit more time in here, rather than just exported my Mac version directly into the crossover version, we might get a bit of a different result. We do see an excellent improvement in render quality from the crossover, from those color temperatures, completely adjusted, more realistic. We see more of the finer details and less fringing, but we are still getting a high quality image out of Lumen from Mac. Overall, I think I'd actually be inclined to spend more time in the crossover version, trying to get this right, because the DirectX 12 will produce a better exported finished image. If I were to repeat that same process for the exterior, they look quite similar in the actual model. On the DirectX 12, we're getting significantly more desaturated colors. So for instance, if we take a look at the sky, it is significantly lighter than in the Mac Lumen version. I haven't placed all of my materials in, so some of my plants are missing down the bottom, but generally that's not too big of a deal for this scenario. If we were to export both of these images and compare them side by side, we could see that once again, we get a relatively similar image. Overall, both are quite good. Mac is producing better reflections off the glass in the upper corners, 
but the DirectX 12 is producing crisper shadows. It's producing desaturated skies and sharper trees. So as you can see in the background, all of these native Australian trees are much, much better rendered out than anything on this Mac version here. Now this was a quick render for this, this tutorial and if you spend more time, I'm sure you'll get better results. However, overall, the DirectX 12 crossover version is proving it to be a significant improvement over what we see on our Macs. And just for comparison, if we were to turn off Lumen and compare the pair, obviously the standard version of twin motion on a Mac on the right hand side here isn't as good as the DirectX 12. It's nowhere near as crisp. The lines aren't as cleaned and continuous. As you can see in this vertical cladding here, it's absolutely flawless on DirectX 12. Close that one, repeat the same process for Lumen version, and it's still very, very good, but it is a little bit fuzzy. If we were to zoom in significantly, just on the top of this DirectX 12, comparing that to the Mac version, both are just as pixelated once you've zoomed in, neither are higher quality than the other, which is slightly disappointing. Overall, they're pretty much near identical. Now before we get into the install process of how you can also get DirectX 12 running on your Mac without parallels or any of the funny business, I want to point out the fact that even though we have the DirectX 12 here on the left, if we go preferences, we have a graphic support of DirectX 12, but our path tracer multiple GPU just hasn't seemed to work for me just yet. I'm hoping to play with it a little bit more and get that up and running. But no matter how many times you press OK, close it, restart it, it just resets. So even though in the twin motion version, you can turn on path tracer and the multiple GPU in your physical settings, path tracer is disabled. And on the crossover version, path tracer is disabled as well. So unfortunately, we don't have path tracer on either of these activated, but we're working on that slowly. So let's talk about how we actually managed to download this. Code Weavers has an incredible software. It's called Crossover for Mac. Basically, it allows you to run any Windows game or software on a Mac super easy without too much stress. It is 79 US dollars, but I'm running a free trial just to see if this does work. So go ahead, download the free trial and you'll have crossover open up. So I've already gone ahead and downloaded the Epic Games installer. All you need to go do is come down to the bottom, search for Epic Games, double click and install Epic Games directly. It will be available on your launch pad as the Epic Games launcher. Now it does take some fiddling and some messing around to get Epic Games to work. I found that if you run these settings, when you're trying to run twin motion for the first time, that it's gonna be the absolute best. However, when you're trying to install twin motion, turn D3D Metal off, turn DXVK on, and turn E-Sync on and M-Sync off. I don't know why, I don't know the technical side behind it, but I know that works for me. And if you keep getting a blank screen, right click on your Epic Games up the top, and just hit Unreal Engine, and that black screen should take you to directly to the Unreal Launcher. After that, it's just like Twin Motion previously, it will open up an Epic Games Launcher. As you can see, we have our Windows style minimize and close on the right hand side compared to our typical Mac, which is on the left. You can go to Twin Motion, download it like normal, launch it like normal, and run it like normal. One thing I failed to mention is when you download Epic Games and you've downloaded Twin Motion, it's installed on your computer, don't go ahead and run it straight away. What you want to do is come to install application into the bottle. So you click on that icon there and you want to search for DirectX. You need to install DirectX for modern games directly into Epic Games. Hit that install button, let it run through the process. Then all of these advanced settings will work perfectly. Anyway, that's all from me team. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you're going to try install DirectX 12 on your Mac and push your renders to the absolute limits. Leave some comments down below. Let me know how you go. Drop some screenshots in the Discord group if you wish. Otherwise, I'll see you next week.